Um, huge amounts of vitamin C. You can take huge amounts of vitamin C uh, into the body. Uh, zinc is important for the immune system. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Vitamin E, again, very important for the immune system. 400 international units a day. And then the ultimate selenium is probably a good idea, around 600 micrograms a day of the ultimate selenium from longevity. And then, of course, the, the healthy start pack goes without saying she should be on that just to get her basic nutrients, sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and then making sure she's using her ultimate EF phase one last strategy in addition to fasting just reducing her caloric intake especially calories that are derived from refined and processed food restaurant foods if i had mixed connective tissue disease i wouldn't be stepping foot in a restaurant unless i knew uh, knew the owner of the restaurant and i knew they loved me and they were preparing food with kindness and love and an open heart and how often does that happen so staying right staying away from uh, restaurant foods super uh, you know processed food Foods, foods were uh, foods that are made by people who don't give a rat's you know what about you mm-hmm. or me. All right. Well, I know she just started taking the lecithin. That'll help too. And um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, well, she's on the right track. She's is she feeling okay. better? Does she notice anything? And a little bit. It's starting okay. to. Of course, this just been within the last couple of weeks, I guess. So okay, she's on the right track. How much of the lecithin? You can have as taking? much as you want. I use I use okay. one one to two tablespoons a day is what I do, and I don't really have any health issues. She could double that if she wants. Make sure it's organic or GMO free. Uh, if she wants to stay soy is where you most lecithin is soy lecithin. If she wants to stay yeah, away from good. soy, she can use a rice lecithin or a sunflower lecithin. Okay, let me ask you one other quick sure. question. She also has a degenerative disc and joint problem. Same deal. Same, same, same deal. Now, the biggest thing is that she had the majority of it was like the L5-S1. And don't forget she L5-S1. No, no. Forget L5-S1. Forget the nerves. Forget all that stuff. Her body is rotting on the vine. Do you ever see a piece of fruit when it starts to rot on the vine? Uh-huh. That's what's happening to her body. It's going to happen in her joints. It's going to happen in her connective tissue, her cartilage, her nerves. Don't worry about where. Worry that it's decaying. And in that's all you got to do to reverse it. If you want to, you know, you like the story and the drama of it, not you, but if she does or the doctor does, that's great. You can say it's L5, it's T4, it's uh, the joints, it's rheumatoid, it's degenerative. You can go through, you can write a whole novel on it if you like. But for healing, you don't need to know any of that stuff. For okay. healing, you got to just stop the steady stream of toxicity that's getting into the body and then restore the nutritional balance. And, of course, deep breathing is also important. And then it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, spiritual, mental, and emotional levels are also important to address for all health issues. Find God, whatever that means for you. Uh, uh, work mentally. Correct thoughts. Crappy thoughts mean crappy body. Correct thoughts mean a healthy body. Work with love and joy and, and focus away from jealousy and anger and rage and all the negative emotions that can spike cortisol and suppress the immune system and wreak havoc on the immune system really so those levels are very important but from a nutritional standpoint deep breathing techniques nutritional uh, making sure you're getting your nutritional supplements your mighty 90 nutrients and stopping the steady stream of toxicity that enters into the body thanks for calling will will that help with like the exhaustion and the slowing yes ma'am absolutely all of it it'll help with all of it she should notice results within a couple days actually all right, got to move on. Thanks so much right. for your call, Linda. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Let's see if we can get a couple more calls in. Joseph in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, uh, mother ended up in the hospital with uh, low sodium, high blood pressure. Um, I, was, I had told the doctor that she's been on uh, on vitamins and the BTT. He said for her to get off of that stuff. Because it'll kill her. her get some nice get prescription that drugs. That BTT will yeah. kill her. But we're going to give her some prednisone. That's going to save her life. Yes, yeah. that's that's our brain-dead medical model. I'm almost tired of ripping on doctors. It's just too easy to do. So what are you going to do? I mean, she's under the care of a doctor, so the doctor's the boss. You know, when you go to the hospital, they rule. They're your, they're your daddy. They tell you what to do. You don't tell them what to do, and that's just how it is. Oh, the stupidity... Right. Uh, I can't even describe how and idiotic. He did, he something did like to be questioned. He did not like to be questioned about vitamins and minerals. Where, uh, now, where are you? That, I got called. I got called by the uh, Adult Protective Services. Uh, the dogs. They sucked the dogs on, on me uh, <laughs> yesterday. For what? Giving her BTT? Yes. For for her not taking her medication. And she's giving a her new nutri- old woman. She's a seventy three old woman who lives on her own, who wants to be by herself, and can outwork any one of those doctors in the yard. Uh, she moves around her own furniture yeah. uh, still to this day. And 
they want to call it that, uh, and it was the doctors. It was the doctors at the hospital. What can I tell you, my friend? I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously, she needs the BTT. She needs electrolytes. Sodium is a major electrical element. With Obviously, if you don't have enough sodium in your body, you're going to have an electrical breakdown, and that's what cardiovascular issues largely are, electrical breakdowns. Uh, is breathing okay? Why don't you ask your doctor if breathing is okay? Because that, that's very important, but it may counteract some of the medicine. So I don't know if breathing is okay. But if it is, right, right. if it is, she needs to be doing deep breathing. That'll help with her blood pressure. Uh, that'll help um, uh, open up her, her blood vessels and reduce her blood pressure a little bit. Uh, is reducing her intake of sugars okay and, and uh, insulin spiking foods? You might want to ask the doctor because that, too, may interfere with her prednisone, and we don't want to do that. So uh, maybe she should stay on a fast food diet and eat at the McDonald's that's in the hospital. Because, you know, right, right. Yeah. And I don't know, Joseph, you're just going to break my heart and make me sad. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it truly pissed me off myself. You and, should. Uh, you know. It should. Where in Texas are you, Joseph? Austin. Austin. Is this an Austin hospital? It is. Oh, my gosh. All Shall right, I Joseph. Say it? <laughs> yes, that, tell us the name of the hospital. Oh, we lost, we lost Joseph. Okay. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We'll continue talking about lipofusion and cell biology. I hope I'm not getting too sciencey on you guys here, but I want you to feel the amazingness of this ride, this coach that we've got called the human body, this deluxe ride uh, coach that we ride through our lives with that's run and constructed and made up of these trillions of little entities called cells. We'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. Thanks for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Along with many other leading national experts. Learn life saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.